Hey, Mesquite Horn was on their bye week this week after wrapping up a playoff spot last week with a win over Rockwall Heath. Our Dodge City of McKinney Inside Story shows us how Horn found the right coach at the right time, and now the Jags might just be the area's best kept secret. For Mesquite Horn head coach Courtney Allen, there is not a lot more important to him than football. But during the last four years, while at his first head coaching job at North Crowley, Allen definitely learned he valued something more than the game, his family. Okay, is Peyton able to get in the house? Allen, a single dad of four daughters, coached the Panthers, but his girls lived in DeSoto. So while leaving a team that was on the upward swing to take a job at 2-7 and seven Horn might have been confusing to some, it made perfect sense to him. When the, the move happened, you know, I, you know, I was ridiculed and talked about and all that, but I really didn't care because people didn't really understand the whole story. See, they see the glory side of stuff, but they don't understand that I have a family at home that I have to take care of. And we're not talking about monetary. We're talking about time as a father. You know, so I poured four years of my life uh, driving up and down that freeway uh, and highway, you know, holidays, summers, spring. I never took off. I was always there in that community with those kids. But I have those girls at home that needed their dad as well. Taking a job closer to home was the easy part. Making a team that had gone 8 and 21 over the last three years believe they were winners, he thought that would be more difficult. It did not take long for Allen to realize he was wrong. These kids were, were a bit different. What I mean by that is, I, was, I didn't know what to expect, right? Um, I thought I would walk into a place with a little resentment, or, you know, like you said, beat down. You know, we can't win, you know, that's not what I encountered. But their willingness to be coachable has really stood out to me uh, for the most, but we're gonna make sure that we're tough in everything we do. He just brought a lot of energy and um, a lot of passion. Um, he's very, a very caring coach. He, uh, he wants everyone to win. The Jags are now seven and two and have clinched a playoff spot. The turnaround of the program has gotten Coach Allen so excited that during a game against Tyler earlier this year, he almost put himself on the disabled list. Horn had just blocked a field goal and was returning it for a touchdown when Allen jumped into the air to celebrate and tore his Achilles. But even that injury has not kept him from the sidelines. One of our things that we say around here is if it ain't tough, it ain't right. And so I turned around, I had that surgery on a Thursday. I was back on at the game against Rockwall on Friday. The last game, like, I, I kind of like hurt myself during the middle of play. And I can hear him on the sideline tell me to tough it up in mid-play. So I'm like, so he's there. He's going to bring the prison known. So. And the Jags are not satisfied with just turning the program around and making the postseason. This team feels like the best is still yet to come. We really ain't walking up. We just getting started. We got, we got a long way to go. Absolutely, it's a sleeping giant. With the type of talent in this community, I think the sky's the limit for this program. I just do. I mean, you don't find these just, they, they don't just happen all the time, you know. And so I think I found a jewel. The Inside Story is brought to you by Dodge City of McKinney, home of the no-charge lifetime powertrain warranty.